Good evening, Spin Master Monster GM fans. Pinchy Await here. It is yet again time for another Spin Master Monster Jam review. As you can see, this is definitely my target score haul yesterday, where I've got five of the Mix 4 assortment trucks, and I now am finishing off the Mix 3 assortment of the Double Down Showdown packs with the Dragon and the Octonator. I'm sure you guys had fun seeing these on display during my sign-up series last night which I have now recently uploaded. So now you get to enjoy the reviewing and unboxing of these. So I'm most likely going to start with Dragon and Octinator. And since I've only got one hand, that's why I will not be unboxing this on video. But I will show you them up close. So here we go. All right, and here they are out of the box. And I definitely got to say, with Dragon here, it's pretty cool to see that we now have a color treaded dragon. I'm not sure if we had one of these with Mattel, but the green tire rims like that with the golden... Actually, I meant to say green tires, but the golden tire rims, they definitely really pop out. And all I can say about dragon is we've seen it a lot this year so far. I'd say counting between the Double Down Showdown packs between Mix 1 I have here, and then the singles in Mix 3 with the yellow roll cage... This is by far about three times we've seen Dragon this color. The only rendition of Dragon I don't have yet would be the Ice Dragon as part of the Double Down Showdown packs with the Fire Megalodon. Because I know those two faced off in Stadium Tour 3. But other than that, three times we've seen the regular um, uh, Dragon. So definitely not going to put a lot of attention onto that. But definitely the most attention will go to the Octonator. The only thing that's kind of a bummer according to Monster GM OCD is that apparently the name Octonator is nowhere to be seen on the truck. It is definitely seen on the card rendition though on the um, uh, Double Down Showdown packs and I believe they were going to probably make this into a real truck but apparently for some reason that got cancelled. It was seen in Spin Master um, uh, production but I guess they decided to make it anyway. Excuse me, and I'm sure some of you can definitely call this Kraken if you want. Kind of does look like a Kraken, but for some reason they decided not to call it this on the Spin Master design since um, uh, since the Jesselade team who makes Jester also has their own um, uh, Kraken truck by Matt Pagliaro's son Nick Pagliaro. But we could always have this as a fill-in for the Kraken, and it's kind of cool. I love all these tentacles all around. Really unique how tentacles wrap around over here to make it look like it's a mouth. And I like how the suction cups on it are 3D like that. This is really, really cool. And if you're wondering what color this is, this is a maroon red. The tire rims are maroon. Different shade of, um, uh, of orange, though, when you're looking underneath the tentacles. But other than that, I love the 3D suction cups. Really, really cool. So... This now completes my Mix 3 Double Down Showdown packs. I still have yet to get the Mix 2 ones and all the Fire and Ice trucks. But we're going to finish this video by looking at all five of the Mix 4 assortment Monster Jam Spin Master well, For trucks. some reason, the one I would like to start with is the regular Monster Mutt. And you'll see why very soon. But for now, I'm about to get it out of the package. But let me show you something different about the package that started on this mix. So while some people didn't know until they unboxed these kinds of package that there's a poster inside, is that it was never on the exterior of the box. So this is what's new on the, um, uh, on the back of the exterior of the box saying includes poster. And according to the back of it, the only trucks I don't have yet that I couldn't find at Target was the Nitro Neon Soldier Fortune, uh, Northern Nightmare, Crustacean, and of course the Megalodon training trucks. But I do plan to get them if I can off the internet, especially the training trucks because those are chase pieces. All right, well, without further ado, let's get Monster Mutt unboxed. All right, and here he is now out of the box. I kind of like this yellow figure that it comes with. Could be Kevin King or Tainer Root. It don't matter because we don't really have any fell drivers for Monster Mutt this year. And as you can see, usually comes with the complaint cards as usual. I'm going to be keeping all of these. But this is the only kind of uh, the regular poster I'm going to keep. So we're going to open this up. I think I can do this with one hand. Because the cool thing about these new mixed posters is that 
you'll always get a preview of the following mix that's about to come out, which will include mix 5. Which is scheduled, which was originally scheduled for this month of July, but apparently it, there was a mistake making that apparently this month was supposed to be all about mix four. So the truth about the back of these posters is that there's always supposed to be a special truck, and the truck of the mix four on the poster will definitely be Monster Mutt. So you can see I had my reasons for starting with him. All right, now we're gonna go to this side of the poster. And as you can see, we have all the trucks re ready for Mix 4. And so here's what we're expecting for Mix 5. We got the return of Gravedigger the Legend. This is the one I'm excited about the most, the Bakugan Dragonoid, because he's been a really outstanding looking truck this year. And then we have the Inverse Series Higher Education, the Blackout Dragon, the World Finals Avenger they called Nomad, Stinger Unleashed, Overcast Blue Thunder, Jurassic Attack, and the Training Trucks Grave Digger. But definitely out of the all the eight trucks that coming out next month in Mix 5, I'm definitely most excited about a um, uh, Bakugan Dragonoid. Because this is a really amazing truck. But yeah, and I'm also impressed how we're getting two Overcasts, including Overcast Dragon and Grave Digger. These Overcasts are going fast. All right, well, let's out further ado. Let's get into the rendition of All Monster right, Mutt. Here is Monster Mutt, the regular Monster Mutt. I'm glad it definitely has its own tooling. Because as I have said before here, with all three of the Mattel ones, they definitely all have the same tooling because they were all rendered off the um, uh, Monster Mutt body. So you get the picture here. But let me show you a big difference between the Mattel and Spin Master Monster Mutt. So as you can see, they... Um, uh, Still have the um, uh, really light brown around the teeth like that, but they made it a darker brown on the Spin Master version. And of course, the only thing missing, of course, would be the tail, because that's what they never did with the Mattel versions. Also, if you look really closely here at the back, you can see that this one still says 2010 Freestyle Champion, which has pretty much long been since removed, even on the real truck, so that's definitely no longer there. And of course, as for the collar, almost fell off my bed. As for the collar, this is not a 3D collar, which is okay, because they definitely don't have anything like that on the real truck. So as you can see, Monster Mutt here does complete all three of the rough crowd um, uh, trucks that are on the regular Spin Master Monster Jam poster this year that you can see at MonsterJam.com. I'm checking out tail sizes. Almost looks like the Monster Mutt tail is actually taller than the Monster Mutt Dalmatian tail. And of course, Monster Mutt Rottweiler here with the very, very stubby tail. Because that's what real Rottweiler dogs are very much like. You can see they definitely kept the frown on the uh, mud teeth over here, which is definitely abnormal. And of course, this is what the real truck has. has how there's a little bit of cuts at the end of the ears like that. That's definitely what it looks like. And I really like this extra fur they have called Tough to Fur. And I know this is not what the real truck has, but it looks good on the Spin Master rendition. And I'm sure it's something that they can add on the uh, real truck. So yeah, without a doubt, this is it. Finally, all three single monster mutts are here. So let's move on to our next truck. 